Hello, Dasmod is back with my weekly updates and water cooling word. Sorry for missing two weeks. I had a leave of absence. So now I'm back and we'll talk about what's new is exciting. The only new products we get recently in our store is actually Monsoon, Danger Dan, uh, Bay Reservoir, some Coolant Bay Reservoirs, but it took so long for manufacturers to get it to us that it's uh, not new anymore and they was reviewed so many times and uh, you have forums and other videos so I'll skip on new products because there's nothing else that really fresh and what I would like to do today is concentrate on frequently asked questions through the store and one of the most often subject popping up recently is water cooling kits because they finally come to the point when they're cheap enough that the people actually can afford them and lots of people go through this route but there's the same question popping up again and again is everything that I get in a kit is enough for me to build my first water cooling system or I need something else well my initial inclination was to say of course it's, com it's complete with our cooling kit so basically you get complete system but thinking about it a little bit more actually there's a few things that can be helpful for people who are buying kits and again we'll talk about two kits that we carry in the store one is AK H3O and uh, another one is XSPC RASA kit we don't have any other kits in the store so I can't talk about those so there's one thing that missed for both apparently this is the water you get only hardware components but not water so water is your responsibility to get and you can do it in two ways you can either go let's say more expensive route and get um, water like this uh, distilled water from uh, Fizer which is uh, ultra uh, clear water that you get from the major pharmaceutical company or you can go go much cheaper route and visit your grocery store and uh, hopefully get a just as good product from there which is distilled water you can get in pharmacy or there's a grocery store and it's a uh, you know, couple bucks for, for a gallon or for a liter. So, what is your responsibility? Having said that, the rest is enough to build your system, but you still there is some room for improvement. I will start with a few items that can be applied for both EK and XSPC and after that we'll talk a little bit about both separately. So, one thing that you can do with both kits you get very simple clear tube and it works fine and nothing wrong with it but if you'd like to spice your build a little bit for very little money just a few dollars you can buy proper size tubing which is colored and possibly you very active and this give you a build a little bit more exclusive look and also it can play better with the color scheme of your build if you have a red motherboard from ASUS or green from Gigabyte right? so you can put a tubing which is colored and it's nice uh, moving further in that direction you also might consider to get colored liquid if you like so you have in both cases you have your reservoirs especially for XSPC where the front mounted and very well visible so if you like some color inside of reservoir you get your your colored water so that's applicable for both and if you play with any UV reactive components obviously you need some lights like UV um, cathodes that uh, will actually make stuff glow so this is something that can be used for both another item that applicable for both kits you might consider to replace fans for the AK, they come up with Yaitlun fans, which is pretty good. Lots of people just buy them on their own. Uh, for XSPC, it's some no-name generic fan. Who knows uh, how it works better or worse than anything else, because nobody even bothered to test it. But if you feel like, uh, you can throw a few dollars to buy, let's say, uh, either UV reactive uh, and OLED uh, lightened fans it's one option to get even uh, more uh, bling bling factor to your uh, system or you can go some high-end fans like uh, sushi typhoons drive bags so things like this it's 
But it's up to you if you look, would like to invest in that. It's not as cheap as just buy a few feet of tube, which is just under two dollars per feet. So it's need more money. Now, let's look into um, two kits separate. First is a K. The K is much more high-end uh, type of the kit. You have very good block, you have a decent radiator, a decent fans, uh, you have a nice um, more or less known pump. And uh, the only thing that I might consider to replace in EK kit is um, they have a, your pump and your reservoir pump combo, so you have one device in both. So if for whatever reason you don't like that combo, would like just to have a look different from what EK suggests you, uh, this uh, reservoir pump combo part is not very expensive, it's, it's probably like $25, $27 retail, so that's you can kind of discount it or try to sell it to somebody else, and you can get different kind of reservoir, go with a bay reservoir, like this monsoon for example, or you can get more nicer a reservoir from frozen queue or whatever, or even advanced reservoir from, from AK water box, which is basically if you replace a reservoir you pretty much get fully custom kits because most people who make custom builds they actually come up with something similar to to AK kit with a custom reservoir. Other than that I really have a trouble to suggest you anything else for a car because it's really top parts together they slightly discounted, so it's definitely a good deal. Um, you get a DCP pump instead of D5, which is more popular, but a DCP pump is pretty decent too, so um, I wouldn't really complain much about it, um, except you have really strong personal preference uh, to uh, length pumps. But uh, again, EK is done. For Swift uh, sorry, for XSPC kit, uh, there's a little bit more you can do. This is less expensive kit, and for that reason, it's used more cheap components, and there's more room for further improvement uh, or, or, or to try to build on it. One of the things that definitely, like, right in your face, is uh, the fact that XSPC kit comes with the barbs. So barbs has its own limitations, they're hard for maintenance, so if you need to disconnect it, taking cue from barb is kind of convoluted process, so it's it's not as easy. And uh, one thing you can do, you just uh, can uh, put a little bit more money into compression fittings and replace your barbs, or some of the barbs that are coming with the uh, XSPC kit with your compression fitting. This is one thing. The other thing you can also enhance and it's actually it's, it's it can be applied to EK kit too. You can buy a set of angled adapters because everything for both kits coming with a straight connections, right? So if you would like to make it a little bit nicer tube routing, you have to have angled adapters here and there, so you can have a shorter runs of the tube, improve your performance, improve your looks. So few or 45 degree rotary adapters, this will be really really good. In, improvement for your build and I would even put it above uh, buying uh, things like uh, color tube. This is uh, definitely a good idea to add it to it. So done with fittings, another thing that I actually discovered just recently for guys who are running AMD systems. Uh, Rasa kit comes with backplates for Intel but not for AMD so if you uh, feel like you need a backplate and you will using it with AMD processor, you basically need to purchase backplate separately. And one of the possible options can be EK Universal Backplate. So it's another 10 bucks for your build. If you really need it and you, as I said, you have AMD. Um, what else? We covered fans, we covered water, we covered uh, fittings. Well, the only last item I can suggest for both feet, uh, for both kits, is get uh, does mode stickers. There is a very important part for water cooling build. They spelled against leaking and spell for high performance of your system. So if you like to get one, uh, definitely buy it and uh, 
put it on your case and uh, you might get much better results comparing with uh, uh, standard setup. Other than that, that's all news I have in this video and I come up with much more news with the coming week. I probably get very nice birthday gift from TFC and uh, my gut feeling is that this could be Admiral Radiator so I'm, I'll show you as soon as I get my gift from them they said I will like it and uh, also there's a few announcements from AK pending uh, to coming week and I definitely make a separate video about that thank you for watching subscribe send me your questions it will help me to make more videos that more interest for everybody and uh, see you soon